Hello, Professor Nugent here, and I'm going to be facilitating this BUS 365 Financial Management, which is a finance concentration elective course. And in this class, we are going to go over many topics, but the purpose of this particular video is to give you an idea of how the class works. So if you're new to an online class, you're in luck because I've had many years experience teaching online courses and I have made this course as easy to follow as possible. Now, learning from past students, the biggest mistake students make in this course is not paying attention to it because it's easy to forget about it because it's online. And it's hard to forget about the classes that you have to go to in person, especially if they're taking attendance. So this class, you know, students may miss an assignment. And I'm very strict about late assignments. I don't accept any late assignments. So you have to be very careful about how you complete the assignments on time and your management, your time management for this course. Uh, many students feel that they'll work on the assignments the night they're due. This is a bad idea because sometimes the assignments may take more than a night to complete. And sometimes you could have technical issues uh, on the night you're trying to complete the assignment, which, you know, I'm still not going to take it late accept any late assignments unless the actual Pearson website is down. So your technical issues, you need to make sure you resolve them. They're not my responsibility. So if you have an internet problem or a computer problem, this is on you. Find another computer, come to campus, go to the sync site. Those are not acceptable reasons for a late assignment. And I suggest everybody start the work two or three days before it's due to make sure if anything does come up, you can quickly solve it. Okay, so the first thing generally you should do is read over announcements. So the first announcement is getting started with the course. So the first thing you should do is watch my getting started video, which you're doing, so you're on track. Um, we're gonna read over the announcements. We're gonna look at the homework manager. This is the ID code for the homework manager that's tied to our class. And let me just adjust this a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to read over the syllabus and we're going, to, we're going to, then you should start your coursework. And the first thing we're going to do in this class is review chapters one through nine. And we're going to be watching, you're going to watch my finance review lecture video. And the playlist is here, but it's also here, class videos. And then you should subscribe to my uh, YouTube playlist, uh, my YouTube channel. And this way, if I post new videos or change any videos around, you'll get, you'll get that information up front and you will never be left out of what videos you should be watching and the order in which you should be watching the videos. Okay, so let's start with announcements. So the first announcement, it's pretty simple. It's the getting started announcement. You're watching a video and you're just getting a good idea of where you should go next after watching this video. The textbook comes with my finance lab so when you sign up for my finance lab you get the textbook with that <clears throat> now if you buy the textbook separately like a physical copy you're going to also have to buy the homework manager which is the same price whether or not you have a, you um, use the ebook or don't use the ebook the ebook is just included in the homework manager and you can go to this link here to get the homework manager but you can also click here my uh, finance lab plus ebook and that will take you to where you can sign up and again we're using the same course id and this is a little bit more instructions on my finance lab so here you know you go to myfinance.com you register uh, you select student uh, so when you register you need to put in this course id and then you need to pay for the homework manager online so we're going to go over that after we're done reading announcements, but I'm just going to just run through the announcements here. Okay, so we have a midterm and a final date. So right away, I put the midterm is on March 25th from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. It's online, of course. And the final exam is on Wednesday, May 13th, uh, starting at 5 a.m. and ending at 11 p.m. So I give you a big window to complete the exam. So you pick what part of the day you would need to do the exam. And I'll post a review and an overview of the exams um, when we get closer to the online exam dates. Okay. How to complete the Excel-based assignments. So there are assignments here. Um, just looking 
for them, but they're on my finance lab. So there are Excel based assignments on my finance lab. And this is a little bit different than anything else you've done before. So you really need to watch this video to understand how to complete these assignments. So these assignments are supposed to teach you the basics of how to use formulas to solve financial problems. And a lot of times I have people routinely just entering in numbers, they'll do the calculation on a piece of paper or a separate calculator and enter the answer into the box and then wonder why they got the question wrong. You got it wrong because we're looking for the formulas, not the answers. So read over this, it's very important to read this over and the separate video to learn how to submit the assignments. <clears throat> Here is a, um, the next assignment is, the next announcement is what to do for weeks one and two. So every couple of weeks I give you an overview, what chapters you should be reading, reviewing, what videos you should be watching, what homework you should be completing. So try to summarize your, your weekly duties uh, every couple of weeks and what you should be working on to kind of really keep you on track. So this way students that drift away and don't, aren't, good, aren't able to plan out their work, I try to bring you back by periodically sending you these emails uh, about what's due, what you need to work on. So make sure that you check your stonybrook.edu email regularly to get these emails. Okay, and the last announcement is about late assignments. So yeah, no late assignments will be accepted. So you have to be very careful not to spend anything late. Since all the assignments have been opened up and you can work on them today, Things, reasons why, uh, about late assignments I won't accept. So you say, oh, I was sick the, assignment, the day the assignment was due. That's not going to be, it's not going to be acceptable because the assignment is due way earlier. So being sick or having any type of computer problem the day the assignment do, is due is not an excuse for a late assignment. There's no excuses for late assignments. So make sure that if you're the type of student who has family issues, work issues, car issues, computer issues, technology issues, health issues, that you work on the homeworks early. So that way if anything comes up on the day of the homework, you don't have to worry about it because you already did it early. And that way you can prevent a lot of these uh, reasons why it prevents you from completing the homework. So I just want to say that up front. Uh, okay, so moving back here. Uh, let's go to our second thing, which is the My Finance Lab. So you should sign up for the My Finance uh, Lab Homework Manager. And this is the course ID to use that's connected to my class. So you can click here, My Finance Lab plus ebook, and this will bring you to the sign in. So let me shrink this so you can see it. And then you want to click on Student. So you're going to need your email address um, and you need your course ID and you're going to have to pay for it with a credit card or PayPal. Uh, so if you click on OK, register now, this is where it's going to ask you for that course ID. You're going to put that in and then you're going to either uh, sign in with an existing account you may already have or you're going to create a new account. And you'll see here, this is the course. So you get the course ID, so you get all the information about the course here. Okay, so let's go back here for a minute. So let me show you how the homework manager works. I'm gonna sign in uh, on the account. Okay, so I've signed in to the homework manager and you see here it says, you know, it'll say the course up here and you will click on, uh, we're not using uh, the study plan or any some of these other links, but the links you will be using is the Pearson eText, the results to see your results and review your results of the homeworks, and the assignments. So if you click on the assignments, in here you'll see that you'll see the due date, and these are due February 23rd. So I have two assignments due February 23rd. Now, if you try to complete these assignments on February 23rd, you won't have enough time because it takes more than a day to do these assignments. So keep that in mind. Um, so the first assignment is reviewing chapters one through nine from uh, this textbook, which was also covered in BUS 330. So these are review. This is just a refresher memory about the first nine chapters. So when you click on this, you're gonna get a set of questions. Uh, so the first question here is um, just going to be a multiple choice question. 
let's see. So that's another multiple choice question. Okay, so then we'll get to some questions that could be a pull down where you will just pull down and answer it. Very simple type of question. And then once you put the, the information in, um, you can do a check on that. So let's move to the next question. I'll find one that's a pro okay. So here's a problem. So here we have a question about a firm depositing money into a short-term account and it pays interest. Uh, what will be the account balance after one year? So you say, well, I'm not sure how to do this. Well, then you click on question help and then you can view an example. So when you view the example, it gives you the formula, you hit continue, and it gives you the worked out numbers. So it has an example that will show you exactly how to complete the, the problem. And it, it, use, it'll give you calculator use, which we don't really use calculators, but it'll also give you a spreadsheet use. So this question help is very valuable where you can click on view an example. You can also click on the e-textbook pages to get right to where the textbook talks about this problem and then you can submit your answer and then you can check your answer and you see, oh, I got it wrong. And again, it gives you some basic information about the question. And I do allow you, um, let's see, a second attempt. And then, oops, got it wrong again. And then you get a third attempt in which if you get that wrong, then you've got the question wrong and you have to go, sorry, next to the next question. And again, when you're on the next question, if you go back, this question's done, you can't do it again. Um, but you could click on similar question and then you get a similar question to answer. So I give you multiple attempts to try to solve these problems. So there's no reason really to do poorly on the homework unless you don't put enough, enough effort in because I give you plenty of attempts to get the answers correct. And again, if you hit on any problems where you're not sure of, you always wanna click this view an example to get an idea of how to solve it and the formulas to use. Uh, also, pay attention to the round, uh, how this rounds, and this particularly rounds to the nearest cent. So that means when you put the answer in, you have to round to the nearest cent. Um, some might say round to the nearest dollar, things like that, so you should be careful with that. Okay, let me close that, leave this. So this is the review, um, chapters one through nine. And the next homework will be chapter 10. And you get a, se a separate set of questions for chapter 10, which is a little bit more involved chapter. And it's the same sort of thing that you, here he says round to the nearest dollar. So that means, you know, 25, not 25.21. If, if the answer you calculated was 25.59, then your answer here would be 26, rounding to the nearest dollar. So just keep that in mind when you're completing these problems. And also very important is to check this view an example if you don't know how to solve the problem. Many times I have students email me, oh, I tried the homework, I can't solve the problem, tell me what to do. And then I'll write back, did you check the question help and view an example? Oh no, I didn't. Well, do that first and that will show you exactly how to answer the question. Okay, so let's leave. So these would be um, the homeworks here, the assignments for the, uh, and you can see here, this is, we have three Excel assignments. So Excel homework one. Now this is a different sort of assignment. When you do this assignment, you click on one of the problems and then you're gonna get four steps. You're gonna download the materials. And when you download the materials, you really only need to download the spreadsheet because the instructions are built into the spreadsheet. So you really only need to download this um, spreadsheet here. So let's open this up. Sorry about it, it's my cat in the background. Okay, so here is the uh, spreadsheet problem. And then um, it gives you information, a to-do list, uh, and then it shows you some information here, and then you get your questions in blue. So then when you, when you calculate these questions, you need to use formulas. So depreciation for year one, we would say plus, uh, let's see, we're probably going to work on a new machine and then we're going to multiply by, oh, this is old machine. So let me find the old machine. 
and multiply. I'm not 100% sure if this is correct, so don't shoot me. Okay. So then, so for each cell, we have to calculate the, the answer. So this actually says three years ago. So this might actually be, um, this might actually be, if it was purchased three years ago, it might actually be four, five, and six that this is gonna be calculated on. So, I'm not sure how, and this is why I give you multiple attempts to, to do this because you can easily get confused or you're not exactly sure what they're answering, asking for. So here, total accumulated depreciation, answer that, book value of old machine in year three, Okay, so all right. So I'm not going to finish this. I'm just going to save it, and let me close this. And then here we're going to upload the completed document. So we're going to go here, and we're going to choose a file. So it's going to it's going to, you're going to pick the file um, that you completed, and then you're going to click on upload. And then now it's success upload and then you can submit it for grading. Okay, so let me close the project. So now if you wanna see how you did or you wanna see what answers you got right or wrong or how to correct them, you're gonna go back to results. And then you're gonna click on, oh, I didn't, should be there, but I guess I didn't finish. So let me go back to assignments. I think I have to complete the whole assignment before I can get that to be graded. But once the assignment is completed, then you can go back to results and your assignment. Oh, there it is. It was just delayed. You can go to review and then you can click on, this is the question I submitted, continue to review homework. And now, it will give me, this is the review. And it'll show you that the points that I, I could have earned are in half a point, half a point, zero points. So now when I go to live comment report, I click on this, this will download the spreadsheet plus comments. So if I click on chapter one here, now it's gonna show that I, I got this wrong. And let me make this bigger so you can see. Okay, so you see down here, these I got right, so there's no comments here. This is right. These three are wrong. So it's gonna say um, that it's wrong. And then it's gonna also tell me exactly what the formula I should have used, which was, let me just, show the note so you can read it a little better so it's going to show me the formula i should have used which h50 times d40 so here i did d43 because i had the wrong year because i didn't interpret the problem correctly because i didn't read the problem but now it's showing me exactly what to do so i need to go back to my original spreadsheet and input this formula and then i'll get it correct so this spreadsheet will show me for all the cells that um with the ones that didn't get correct, it'll show me what I did wrong and how to correct it. So then you just go back in, correct the spreadsheet, re-upload it, and uh, you can actually download your submitted spreadsheet again, correct it, and then you could go back to the problem. Cancel. You can go back to assignments, and then you know, clicking on the Excel assignment, you can now. Um, choose the file, uh, rework the file, choose it, re-upload it, and submit it for grading again. So again, I give you multiple attempts to get those assignments correct. Okay, so that's my finance lab, how to sign up and how to briefly do the homework in my finance lab. 
and this will be uh, also in the my finance side will be the quizzes and tests. So these will only appear the day of the quiz. The day of the, there's no quizzes. There's two tests, midterm and final, and they'll appear here under take a quiz test on the day of the exam. So make sure. So exams and all homeworks are in this homework manager for our course. Okay. So let's let's go over the class videos. So when you're going to watch videos for this course, you click on class video, and YouTube will pop up. So I loaded everything into YouTube and I created a playlist. Um, and this is because I want to make it easy for you to see all the videos in the course. So they're all in order of how to, when to watch. And then you um, just click on the video and watch it. And you can watch this on your, your phone, your tablet, your PC, your Mac. Wherever you can get YouTube, you can get these videos. So I did this to make it very accessible to, for you to watch the videos whenever you need to or want to. And then it would make sense that at some point you should um, subscribe to this YouTube playlist or channel so that way if there's any, you get notifications if there's any changes or additions to the playlist as the class goes on. So you can always click here to get the playlist. Now here are the PowerPoints. These are just the, the, the slides, the slide decks I use in the chapters that we're gonna review for the course. And these PowerPoints. Um, Let's go back to announcements. So here in announcements, we did we went over announcements, homework manager, um, YouTube playlist, and now let's just review the syllabus. So the last thing I want to do here so is look at the syllabus. So if we click on the syllabus, we see that this is an online course. It gives you my office hours if you need to come by my office hours. And it, it talks a little bit about what this course is about, the textbook, learning outcomes, specific outcomes, course methodology, points. So, so grading, test one is 100 points, test two is 100 points. This is midterm and final. The homework lab, my finance lab homework is 200 points, and so the total is 400 points. So if you break down the percentages, you have to be careful of Excel homework one, two, and three, because they're 7.5% they're of the grade for each of those homeworks, where a regular homework is only 2.5% of the grade. Test one and test two are 25% each. Here's a point breakdown for a total of 400. And then if you divide, if you, this is your percentiles, you'll see your percentile grade on the grade book. And this is how the percentile grade is translated to a letter grade for the course. Okay, and this is the, um, the schedule of the class, what, what chapters we're gonna be going over. You have a midterm and a final, and the chapters in those midterms and finals, and just some basic overview description of each of the courses here, of the, of the chapters we're going to be talking about. So that's the syllabus. You should, should read over that. So again, to finalize this video, when you're ready to start the class, read over all of the announcements, and you know watch this video to its end, which is almost over. Uh, read over the syllabus. Check out some of the course videos. Uh, your PowerPoints are backed up here. Sign up for My Finance Lab with the ebook. Uh, we won't be using the grade book on Blackboard. All the grades will be in the My Finance Lab under results. And you also get a percentile uh, percentage of what your grade is overall at the time. And you can even go into this show calculation and it'll show you how the points are being calculated. So the My Finance Lab does a really good job of showing you where you are in the class and how well you're doing getting back to the course, uh, and that's about it for the class. So that's everything I think you, you need to get started. And again, you, my best advice is to be proactive and getting the work done early. So that way, if you come into any problems, you have time to come to my office hours, or you have time to uh, fix the technical issue and get right back in it so you don't miss any assignments. Okay, good luck to you in this online class. And I may have a TA, I'm not sure, but if I do, I'll post the information on announcements. Okay, thank you and take care.